What the fuck? The landmine stash. It's a dead end. I told you, dog. Can, can we pick these up? Cannot work. That's a that's a that's a bomb. I. A few moments later. There's somebody. Fuck. Ah! There's so many fucking turrets. <laughs> what happened? Landmine. Hey guys, Matt Money here, and welcome back to another edition of Plastic Instruments Monthly. With 2023 in the rearview mirror, and 2024 now truly kicking into gear, we are back yet again to report in on the releases and accomplishments across the 5 fret community. So without any further ado, we're dying the landmines, let's get straight into it. Let's dive in with South GH, who released 7 songs across these 2 months. Snowtop, Epic Solo F Trail Kamikaze, Synthomaniac, Lights of the Mirage, Doors of Insanity Uber Solo, Ruby CH's Hell 2 Remastered, and South GH's Hell 2. I should also mention that in early December, South re-released many of his older customs with the South GH Discography 2023 pack, a collection of songs from his older, now deleted, YouTube channel. Speaking of which, RKS413 also did a similar re-release, compiling their discography together into one download. South was only beaten out by one person in terms of total release volume, because, of course, it had to be Thinger. Nine releases make up their lineup for December and January, with Rainwalker, the three-song Unreality EP, Spoken Story, Lunatic Eggshell's Uber Solo, Dr. Mass Tapper, Fractional 2024, and Thinger's Lacklust of Trial. Moving down to more manageable numbers, four different artists release two tracks each. They are Wasted CH with Breakdown and Blackout, Chaos CH with Notefucker.wma and Zero, NATO CMP with O to Edu69 and Hardcore, and Nari with Solus 2 Uber Solo and Intoxicator. For all our single release artists this time around, I'm feeling a lightning round. We've got a blend of modern and old school names in here this time. In no particular order, there's. Ode to Bracket Cat by Arceus413, Euphoria by Arcane, Purple Thunder by Red Strike, Patterns 5++ by Schmutz and AI, Curse of Oyster by The Eruption Offer, Xmas 2023 by Jild, Black Diamond by Slide Whistle, Chord Attic by Kalaho, yes I'm translating that song title, fuck you, Agudo Magico 3 VGH by Gogo, Comet by Hazel, If Power Metal Was Good by Chibui, Subpolar 3 Ducks by Quartermanch 437 The Day of the Ashes by Mirage Luna, Chroma by Black Pawn and Carson Blazeman, and finally, Reverie by Kaotrope. Now, if you ask me, that lineup right there is insane enough, but we're still not done. December and January saw a variety of song packs release. First up, Xancharted 3, Triple Thick by Xanter G, a metal and rock-oriented chart pack. For some more variety, there's Easy Access by Delta Rack, and there's also a Bit Crusher across systems by 3UP, and even Non-English 2 by CSC as their fourth quarterly release for the year. But, if you want to talk large set lists, it's hard not to mention Fatty Hero. 500 plus charts fill the lineup for this gargantuan set list. So no matter whether you like console classics or pushing the limits of tapping, there's something here across all these set lists for everyone. And finally, Community Track Pack. Releasing towards the end of January, the 15th iteration of this classic set list saw a change in leadership, with old pack manager Black Pond stepping down after release. Going into the future, CTP will now be ran under the Plastic Instruments Community umbrella. I'm excited to share with you all the future of CTP in the coming months. Just know that 16 has been delayed until December of this year, as one of the CTP team members has been hard at work compiling a definitive edition of every pack. Expect a release summer this year. And that just about covers it. I know I say this more or less every month, but goddamn, I really do mean it when I say you have all been killing it as of late. As always, links to all downloads are in the description slash pinned comment. This is Matt Money. Sign. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hello? What about all the shit you missed in Rewind?
Hey all, welcome to the final Plastic Instruments Monthly of 2023 December. I'm Jinji, and this week we have a packed month, so let's get right into it. But, before that, starting with something that we missed from October, Gorilla got Burial on the Presidio Banks, an awesome FC. Sorry we missed it last month. <laughs> Alright, back to December. We opened this month with the insane feat of Iconoclast. Bradmaster finished off the last and hardest album in the Symphony X discography, Iconoclast, with a massive length of 1 hour and 22 minutes. This absolute monster of a chart was finally taken down, and a massive congratulations to you, Brad. Brad also managed to get the Frankenstein full album, which is crazy. Amber Sky got some crazy shit this month as usual. With Infinite Ammo VGH Uber Remix, Shygasm, and both the first ever tech and full FC of Animoya, which was done in a race with me. It's an insane chart. Awesome work, Amber. Hefju did some stuff this month, getting an Ohanika Ohanika 125 tech, Since You've Been Gone, a Silver Bells FC, and an FC of the newly released Half Jews Hell 2, alongside Captain Mario, Quacky, and Ledma. Super cool to see. As always, we have Elusive with a bunch of crazy shit, Peace Cells 225, Scream Aim Fire 150, Behind These Hazel Eyes Overchart, and Battle of the Trills. Amazing work, I would say that you're the next Randy, but the only reason I can't is because Randy is back. Randy went crazy this month, getting pop music, a paradigm first ever, Halls of Science 4 VGH, the new Jarvis custom, Ocean 125, Snow Hey O 200, and Pub Step. This is absolutely insane. Great work, Randy. And elusive, too. Kanjay got a Hello World VGH tech, one of the worst grinds I've seen someone go through. Cyan also got the hard chart of the custom, which is absolutely insane. Moving on to the strummy stuff, we have Megalomania and Schloss 150 done by Crazy, which is, well, crazy. Quiet done by DXCH, also amazing. And Takama done by Gorilla. Awesome work, y'all. Alright, what else? We have I Love Horses 125 by Ian, which is crazy. A Pinger Tech by Animositus, super cool. LXR's Inferno Tech by Zappy, awesome to see. William got the Chord Bastard Hard Chart at 140, which is just wow, okay. Random Days got Diddly Daddle. Katni got I Would Never Stop You, third ever, as mentioned at the Rewind bit, which is just insane, some of the craziest progression we've ever seen this month. Reptar got the first ever FC of 10 Things I Hate About You, pretty awesome. And Red got Three's Hell. And that brings us to montages. This month, we have How to Skip 2 from William CH, Hard Drive Dump 2 from Radial, Quick Miss 23 from Quick, Lenaissance from Lean, which is crazy, and Subwine 2023 from Not Subby Dude. On to the Clone Hero stuff from January, we had another pretty awesome month. Ian showed off this month with Losing It First Ever, which is absolutely insane, and Space Race First Ever Tech FC. Just what? The actual fuck. Finger Thing got a couple things this month with Pocket 8's 150 and Lean's Weird, a Weetard chart of Lean's World. Super cool to see and awesome work. Speaking of Lean's World, Giovanni got a tech of it, which is just fucking ridiculous. Awesome job. But that isn't even the end. Lean, the man himself, got the second ever FC of Lean's World. Absolute insane job, Lean. I can't wait to see what's next. As always, Elusive came around with some wild FCs, with Baby by Justin Bieber, Big Girls Don't Cry by Fergie at 110, and I'll Be Your Johnny on the Spot by Lean at 200. Just a quick post-production note, Elusive also got Sink or Swim at 225% speed. Good stuff, man. All absolutely wild accomplishments. Awesome job, Elusive. Amber did her insane progression thing this month with a Losing It full versus tech, showing off her amazing tapping prowess and a Halls of Science 4 VGH full solos tech. Amazing work. For strummy stuff this month, Remix got The Fool by Flesh God Apocalypse in 125 like a god as usual, and Crazy got The Way It Ends at 125, both wild accomplishments. Edu got Ode to Edu 69, nice, and Raining Blood 150, which is super cool to see. Asus got Closer Under Chart at 125, Munkers got a Paraffin Tech FC, which is awesome, Blackout got TTFAF, and Joe Kwan Max got the Ancient Bards discography solo medley, which is just wild. The final accomplishment I'm going to mention before the montages is Quacky's Egoless Act 9 tech. I've always known Quacky was pretty damn good, but holy shit, this is absolutely insane. Awesome work, Quacky. 
Some crazy Yarg stuff happened this month, like a bad account dropping Minitage 22, an 11 minute montage of some of the craziest anti-ghost gameplay ever seen, featuring inhumane forest trail full solo on expert, which is just unfathomable to me. <laughs> and Goulart doing his usual stuff of some just insane clips, um, like Jenny's B on Yarg. As for montages this month, we have Taco Minitage 26 from William CH, Caps Clips 9 Mechanically Buffed from Captain Mario, and Minitage 3 from Tenno. And that wraps up my segment for the episode. Thanks, y'all. Hi, everyone. I'm JD Smitty, and I'll be covering the console accomplishments for December. We had an absurd number of accomplishments this month, starting with Steph FCing Pulse of the Maggots on Rock Band 3. This is arguably the hardest official DLC on Rock Band, and was the first ever FC on Rock Band 3 and second ever on the Rock Band series. Steph also got a gold star run of Hourglass Part 2 and an FC up to Solo 3D. It's only a matter of time until someone FCs this song and puts an end to the Rock Band Top 100 on guitar. Fantastic work to the Green Fox himself. Next we have one of the most overdue accomplishments ever, as Zay obtained an on-disc full series FC on Rock Band guitar and bass. Just in December, Zay FC Greengrass and High Tides guitar on Rock Band 1, Let There Be Rock Live guitar on the ACDC track pack, and Visions bass on Rock Band 2, easily one of the most underrated players currently. Chris Body also made history by obtaining first place on every single song on Rock Band 1 drums, capping it off with Greengrass and High Tides first place by a single point. Moving away from Rock Band 1, Ace Zero continues to prove that he is the one-man band GOAT with a Highway to Oblivion one-man band FC on Rock Band 4. Any Dragon Force one-man band FC is ridiculous, and this is no exception, with the guitar chart being especially a pain in this game. Finally, for Rock Band news, Santino RB FC'd Blackened by Metallica, the oldest chart in the guitar top 100. At 110% speed, as if FCing this solo at regular speed wasn't bad enough. Really keep a lookout for this player, he's been getting some nutty stuff on Rock Band lately. Moving over to the Guitar Hero side of things, Nolan FC through the fire and flames on Guitar Hero Smash Hits. Widely considered the hardest skill based song in the Guitar Hero series, this marks FC number 659 out of 660 with Guitar Hero 3 Charve Through the Fire and Flames the only song left for him. Really keep an eye out for Nolan, as he's been on a tear lately on vocals, with the ultimate goal of becoming the first ever one-man band full series FC for Guitar Hero. We also had two FCs of Ballroom Blitz this month, done by two considerably different players. Sleeper Wave, who's been on a rampage in his return to Guitar Hero after a decade away from the game, and Chance of One, who has mastered the Guitar Hero strum limit now. Sleeper Wave also obtained a Trogdor FC in November that we forgot to mention. Zuppy, the 15th best Super Smash Bros. Melee player in the world, is also a god at Guitar Hero, with FCs A Fury of the Storm and Sudden Death on Warriors of Rock, and Get Ready to Rock on GH1 in December. He's getting ever closer to that elusive 660 full series FC mark, can't wait to see what he does in Guitar Hero and Melee in 2024. Ace Zero got a full game FC of Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock in December, and yet another Dragon Force one-man band FC with Fury of the Storm. Evil Apple 567, another returning player, has been dominating the squeezing side of Guitar Hero 2 with new first place scores in Raw Dog, The Light That Blinds, and Surrender. Surrender is especially noteworthy as it was the longest untied first place in Guitar Hero 2 held by I Am Chris for Life in 2008. Finally, I got the first FC of Dire Zeev guitar on Guitar Hero Metallica for the PS2. One of the main reasons this song went unFC'd on this platform for so long is this game just really sucks on PS2 and nobody really wanted to go for it. With this done, one off of Guitar Hero Metallica and Satch Boogie are the only remaining songs in Guitar Hero series to be FC'd on PS2. Looking at you, Cyan. The score grinders have been on a rampage in January, starting with Caitlyn Uwu, getting optimal on the Pretender from GH3 DLC 
three times in January. This requires multiple double squeezes throughout, and now she owns over half of the optimal scores. On the GH2 side of things, Jay Prez garnered first place on Arterial Black with incredible ticks throughout multiple activations, and I broke a 13-year-old record on Search and Destroy using a reverse tick squeeze. And then there's Evil Apple 567 who got a mind-boggling 11 new first place scores on Guitar Hero 2. Soy Bomb, Miserloo, Thunder Horse, Carry Me Home, One for the Road, Message in a Bottle, Trippin' on a Hole in a Paper Heart, The New Black, Carry on Wayward Son, Killing in the Name, and Crazy On You. Please subscribe to Evil Apple if you haven't already, as each of his uploads are brain-melting new first places on an already fairly optimized game. Moving away from scores, Zuppy continues to shine in the GH Full Series grind, FCing Ballroom Blitz and obtaining a full game FC of Guitar Hero 80s. He only has 7 songs left for the Full Series FC, can't wait to see it happen in 2024. Steph cemented himself as a console strumming god with an FC of Cool Concoction on Rock Band 3. This has a stupid broken strum section that he used the D-pad to hit. We had quite an impressive full band FC this month, as Team Queens and Me got blinded by fear by At The Gates, featuring Blue Bro, Peter Pasheen, Coltrane RGH, and Miss Hills. Blue Bro also got some sick drum FCs in January, with this rounds on me and the second ever FC of No Hassle. Great stuff, Blue Bro. Can't wait to face you in CSC Open. Hockey Pro also got a ridiculous drum accomplishment, FCing every song off of the album Rain in Blood by Slayer on Rock Band 4. Each song is extremely fast paced, particularly Angel of Death and Raining Blood, yet Hockey Pro makes it look easy while nailing these songs. Finally, we have one of the most niche yet incredible accomplishments I've seen in a while as Computer Dude 77 got the first ever FC of Gypsy Rave Massacre Party on Pro Keys. This has a really, really fast double note pattern that occurs three times throughout the song and by itself would be one of the best section FCs on Pro Keys. What I think is even more impressive is the determination it took for Computer Dude to accomplish this. He had 327 runs past verse 1, 55 runs past verse 2, and 40 past the synth solo before hitting the final double note pattern in verse 3. That's all for console this month. I'm JD Smitty, and I'll see y'all later. Especially Blue Bro.